Nice to meet you. Spaghetti juice. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another weekly vlog. If you're new here, I'm Darby and this is Cosmo. It's nice to meet you. Do you want to say hi? Usually our weekly vlogs are very travel related, but this is the first week that we're officially not traveling, which is weird. So if you haven't seen our last few videos, basically we've traveled around Australia for the past year. We've driven from Canberra over to WA to settle down here, which is really exciting. Um, and now we're just in the caravan park until our house is ready for settlement because we bought a house. Taking it day by day, we're just in the caravan park. I'm going to the beach every day and it's a very different lifestyle than we're used to, but it's fun. So this week we're gonna bring you guys along with us. See what we get up to. First, actually, I need to make the bed which is probably one of my least favorite things to do. Actually, the dishes is my least favorite thing to do. It's full at the moment. And we still have our <laughs> we still have our Christmas containers and it's almost the end of January, but we're going to wait till we move into the new house to get some more containers. Let's get cleaning. overflowed I forgot to check the water tub before I did the dishes and <laughs> uh, and the sink just filled up with water and I can hear it dripping and it's it's gonna be a nightmare this is the second time this has happened to me and I, l I never learn I literally never learn this is going to be revolting because it has milk and like spaghetti juice and oh, it's just... <sighs> I can't believe I forgot. Honestly, can't wait till we don't have to deal with our own like emptying of the water. I'm just gonna use this old towel that we have and I'm gonna mop up this swimming pool. Spilt it all through here when I was trying to get it out. It's 15 kilos and it's so awkward because you kind of like you need to grab it from this side and then lift it sideways. So it's, I know, it's just a whole thing. Now that one's going straight in the wash. So I just got to the laundry and the ones that use card are already full and I don't have any coins and that's the only washer left. So back to the van we go. Hi Dad, how are you? I'm good, sorry I missed your call. I've had a morning. So now it's almost 10 o'clock. So that means we need to pack up everything out of this site and move over to our unpowered site because every four nights we get a powered site because the van isn't moving and the and the power drains every three days, if that makes sense. So we were in the powered site last night and now we're gonna go head over to the unpowered site and maybe go to the B-E-A-C-H. Your destination is on the left. Yeah? Okay, hang on. Hang on. He always jumps around the back of me. Oh, the seatbelt's on. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Hang on. Stop. We're going, we're going. 
Get ready for some fabulous iPhone quality. Sit. Stay. Go. Go. Go on. Oh, are you waiting for me? Nah, there he goes. Oh no, bud, there's lots of seaweed today. So it turns out it's a lot harder to film at the beach than I thought. Sand gets absolutely everywhere. I'm holding the lead, I'm holding the little stick throw thingy, I'm holding his poo that he's done, I'm holding his trees, I'm holding the keys. I think it's a two person job <laughs> to also film as well as holding all that stuff. Maybe I also need a beach bag. Maybe that's one thing I should get. Cosmo had a nice little play in the waves as you would have just seen. Now he's just drinking some water here on the ground before we head back to the caravan park. So for lunch today, I'll be trying something new. I am gonna try French toast. I am getting into my cooking era and I am, at this current point in time, a little bit terrified of cooking, which is a little embarrassing to admit, but we're getting there, we're working through it. So we're gonna make French toast for lunch today. I think it might be a breakfast food, but who says you can't have it for lunch? So in case you wanna make it as well, here's the recipe. You need one egg, half a cup of milk, any milk of choice, a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, one eighth teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of cinnamon, two slices of bread, and one tablespoon of salted butter. And then we're just gonna whisk together the egg and milk in a medium sized bowl, add the vanilla, sugar, and cinnamon, and whisk until well incorporated. And then coat the bread in that mixture, put it in the pan, cook it till it's golden brown, and then there you go. Sure, it can't be too hard, right? Do you reckon multigrain bread would still work? Or does it have to be white bread? Okay, so I just did all that, but there's still so many like bits of cinnamon in it and like around the edges, so I don't know if it's meant to be like that, but surely it couldn't hurt. Surely. Ooh, that looks so nice. This actually looks so nice. I'm so excited. I feel like a chef whenever I hear that noise. <laughs> like the little sizzle. Okay, so this actually wasn't as bad as I thought. Okay, so here's the finished product. It does say to serve with syrup, but I only have honey. So I might just try it by itself first and then see if it needs anything. All right, let's give this a go, shall we? I expected it to taste sweet for some reason. Yeah, I think it needs syrup, but We've only got honey. That tastes better. Yum. We made French toast. How exciting. All right, I'm gonna eat this and then I need to get into some design work. Looks like somebody has his eye on the French toast. I think this one is Cosmo approved.
So Rowan goes to work a few days a week and I thought it'd be fun to change our little chores board to a whiteboard and every day he's at work I write a really silly joke just for him to come home and scoff at I guess <laughs> but I don't know it's really fun and I like finding new jokes I always send them to my dad as well so this was the one I had yesterday or last week sorry anyway so now I have a new one for today What do you call a dog magician? Do you know? A labracadabra door. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Today is off to a little bit of a slow start. I just really felt like getting onto my laptop and getting some of my design work done. I have some client work that was just paid this morning, so I'm gonna get that done and send that through to her and then work on my new brand that I'm setting up. I haven't made the bed or done the dishes or anything. I usually try to do that first thing in the morning, but I don't know, today's just feeling a bit, a bit lazy, just taking it slow. We also had fruit yoga and muesli this morning and it made me really want to try and get into making my own granola because the first granola we bought, because we shop at Aldi just because it's cheap, like the first granola we bought was absolutely perfect and then they just stopped selling it for some reason. So we haven't been able to find a good granola. So I want to try and make my own, but obviously we don't have an oven in here. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to get back into baking and I just miss, I miss my cakes and my desserts and just the whole process of baking and decorating. How cute! All of these birds are just playing in the sprinkler. I also can't wait to be settled in our house because this is the setup. Like if I want a good posture I need to like lean against these back walls and have like my laptop up on top of these two pillows but it's a little bit wobbly and if I sit up there and do it I'm sort of like my back gets really sore because I'm sort of like twisted onto the bench if that makes sense. So this is my setup for the day. Everybody got opinions. I'm so sick of trying to please them. I don't mean to get defensive but I've been feeling kind of fearless. I want dangerous attention. Yeah. And I really couldn't care less no. Just done the dishes, the van's nice and clean Butter chicken is defrosting for tonight So now I'm just gonna watch some YouTube And eat my apple and peanut butter I have a weekly vlog from Ella And a weekly vlog from Connor I'm very excited Cosmo is also very interested in my snack Good morning you guys and happy Monday Welcome back to another vlog The 14 Pro I'm obsessed with so awkward, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it. That's the whiskey talking, but I don't regret it. I don't regret it. No, I don't give a fuck what other people want ya. I'ma live it up tonight. Might get a little drunk, like call my ex up, mascara in front of my eyes. They say I'm acting dumb, but I'm just having fun. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Cosmo and I have just been walking around the caravan park. He just did his business, he met a few other dogs. Um, Rowan just left for work. So today I need to create some MacBook folders. I need to start editing this weekly vlog. I need to wash my hair, I need to do the laundry. And <laughs> this is gonna sound so funny. So we bought one of these Sudoku books ages ago. I thought we would fill out the little jackpot thing with the finished Sudoku and hand it in to maybe win $8,000 cash. I honestly sound like I'm 80 or 90 years old but I mean any chance at winning a little bit of cash would you really pass it up? So yeah I'm gonna cut this out today I'm gonna write on the little envelope that I got and I'm gonna post it. Anyway let's get into the day. Because we started getting restless at about 9.30 so now we're on our way to the beach.
feet. It's now 10.30. I'm just cleaning the sand off my feet because I hate the texture of sand between my toes. It is very overstimulating and I need to put socks on immediately. Murray's all happy now and all tired and just laying out in the grass out there. So I can now get a bit more work done without him yelling at me to go to the beach. He absolutely loves it. Although he loves the seaweed more than the actual beach itself. More than the water and the sand. So he's a little bit smelly but it's just how it is. Oh Cosmo wants to say hi to the fam. Hello! Hi! Are you making friends? Are you clean enough for this bed? Oh actually you're very sandy. Having a quick chocolate snack before I get back into work. This crunchy salted caramel chocolate from Aldi is so good and it's so cheap too. I think it's like $2.50 or $3 for this whole block. Whereas I think a, I think a Cadbury one is maybe now up to like $5. I enjoy having like a couple of snacks throughout the day instead of like one big meal at lunch. I tend to just feel so bloated and gross for like the next hour if I have like a huge meal in the middle of the day. So I have like a big-ish breakfast, a huge dinner and then just like snacks throughout the day. Carrots and hummus, it's a pretty healthy snack. So I'm just going to snack on these and watch some YouTube. So here I am just getting ready to sit back, relax and watch YouTube. Do you see that? The door's been open this whole time. This whole time. This whole time we've been at the beach and everything. Well, my laptop's still here, so obviously no one came in and stole anything, but <sighs> scary. Everybody got opinions. I'm so sick of trying to please them. I don't mean to get defensive, but Dangerous attention. Do you want to say hi to the vlog? Hello. Hello, happy Thursday, happy Australia Day. We just went to go to the pool, but the pool was locked. And what's Australia Day without a pool? So, I might have to go a bit later in the day, but then there's going to be people, and I don't really want people in the pool with me. Anyway, we're going to have some breakfast. Come on up. Boy, go get it. I'll just put on this little cover up just for now, but I'm gonna start juicing some oranges and lemons because we're having pancakes for breakfast. We're also gonna have a movie night tonight. Very excited. This movie has been in the cinemas for so long that it's now out of the cinemas. <laughs> and now we're just gonna rent it on YouTube. Very excited for that tonight. Oh no. One of the oranges has gone moldy. Oh Look at the size difference. These lemons are so small. Apparently today wasn't actually the day that Australia was founded, so I only found that out a couple of years ago. Oh, my arm gets so sore. I've never seen that before. My goodness, it is hot today. I'm definitely gonna wash my hair today too. I'm trying to train my hair so that I can wash it only like once a week. These Christmas lights are coming out. I also really need to take down the Christmas decorations too because it's literally the end of January. And in saying that, that means my birthday is coming up very soon. And I don't know how I feel about it. Birthdays were fun when you were younger, but now it's just a reminder of how old you are. <laughs> And I mean, in the whole scheme of things, I'm not even that old, but 24 just sounds so old. I'm going to be 24 soon. How did that happen? Oh, anyway, Rowan just used the last of the ice cubes. He's going in the gym. I'm just going to cool down in here with Cosmo. We've got the windows open. We've got the fan on. A recent obsession of mine has been Zupa Dupas in a glass of water. So usually I'd have like cordial or something, but since we don't have space for cordial and also last time we had it in here, it leaked everywhere and the whole cupboard was just sticky and it was not a fun time. So 
I just put a super duper in the glass and I fill it up with water and it's a fun color it's a yum drink <laughs> like it literally tastes like cordial cheers good morning happy Friday I've just finally got around to washing my hair this morning so She's going to be a little bit frizzy, but I thought I'd jump on to talk about last night's movie. Don't worry, darling. I didn't expect it to be so much like a horror movie. It was kind of terrifying, but I did love it. I'm very, very late to the train to watching this movie, but I can see what the hype's all about. And it's also the first time I've rented a movie from YouTube. Anyway, in about 10 minutes, we're going to move over to an unpowered site because it's 10 o'clock and we have to get out of this one. I'm going to try and dry my hair nice so it doesn't go too fuzzy, but I don't have a hair dryer yet. <laughs> so I'm really excited to move into a house and actually have some space for, for proper hair tools. Rowan's home for about five days in a row because of Australia Day yesterday. That was actually really fun markets. And the lady at the coffee shop gave me full cream milk instead of lactose free. Like yes, I did ask for ice cream with it, but it's, the lactose feels different in the milk and it's just, I don't know, when it's in milk format, I can't do full cream milk, but I can do full cream milk. I can do full cream in ice cream. But she kind of just scoffed and laughed at me and still charged me for lactose free, but still gave me regular milk. So I had a very upset tummy for a lot of yesterday, which sucked. Saturday and if you can hear Cosmo in the background it is because we are at his favorite beach and today I am officially 24 I don't know how I feel about it but we're gonna go to the beach Cosmo is gonna have a nice little run around and we're just gonna enjoy the day <laughs> so the day has taken a bit of a turn uh, we just found a bunch of rat poo as you can see here and so now we're just clearing it all out. We're gonna take off the seat and you know, just see where it's been, I guess. <sighs> this whole time we have never had an issue with any animals in the van. Except for this one. Except for this one. <laughs> Rowan's just taking the drawers out. Thank you. Everything's looking very empty. I really don't want to find him. <sighs> but I think he might be in those shoes over there. Kind of terrified. So it's currently Sunday at about 6.30 in the morning. Um, we've just woken up to take Cosmo out and we've realized that the rat or mouse or whatever it is is still in the van. And we just took a bunch of our food out of the cupboard and they've gotten into they've gotten into the wraps, the digestives and these rice crackers. They didn't get into a lot of this stuff, so that's fine. So today we're gonna go to Bunnings and hopefully find a trap that is like safe for them, like that doesn't kill them. Um, and hopefully we can catch them tonight so it's not in here. Like, we literally pulled apart everything yesterday, and maybe it's in the walls, maybe it's in the roof. I really have no idea. We didn't, we haven't heard it, and Cosmo hasn't noticed that it's here, so it must be just really quiet. <laughs> really quiet and really small. But if there's any more updates on this, I will put them in here. So 
we just did a bunnies trip we've got this to store all of our food in so the rats can't get in anymore we've got this one to sweep out the redback spiders that are in our storage unit and we've got this to store everything that's in here that we don't need so we've now mouse proofed most of the things it can get into and we also got some mouse traps but they're the ones that don't kill them because we obviously don't want to do that so hopefully these work we got this little one for one mouse and then this one that can catch up to like four mice see how that goes we have no idea how many mice are actually in our van but kind of hope they're all gone balancing on the end like that yeah well, maybe it balances like that and then and then when it runs in and it in. tips that bit yeah okay so how does this work Oh, did you get a fake mice? I was so bad. Oh. Um, you can't just jump out the top. No. Oh, it has a lid. It's got a lid. Okay. <laughs> I was just sitting here editing and I realized I forgot to properly end off the vlog. So if you watched this far, thank you so much for watching. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, maybe Cosmo doesn't want you to hit the subscribe button. <laughs> yeah, we ended off the week on a little bit of a low, but make sure you tune in next week to see if we caught this rat, mouse, whatever it is in here. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! You're on my mind. I need you right here tonight.